Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this session, I am going to explain the meaning, parameters, components, working, advantages and limitations of the autoclave sterilization method. So friends, let's get started. Let us discuss what is autoclave sterilization. Autoclave sterilization has the principle similar to the ordinary pressure cooker. It produces high pressure steam to destroy bacterial cells and fungal spore from different media, samples, equipment and glassware. As autoclave uses dry saturated steam, its principle is based upon moist heat sterilization that causes absolute denaturation and irreversible coagulation of macromolecules like enzymes and structural proteins of microorganisms. It maintains sterile environment by providing pressurized saturated steam under controlled temperature for desired time and the steam pressure and temperature may vary depending upon the size and quantity of the loads. Autoclaving is a physical means of moist heat sterilization that is the most dependable method over chemical, radiation and gas sterilization methods. Friends, do you know that how this autoclave technology has been introduced? Well, many contributions have been made in the history of autoclave technology. But Dennis Pepin was the first scientist who invented pressure cooker and named this machine as steam digester in the year 1681. Then in the year 1879, Charles Chamberlain reinvented and devised a machine called an autoclave. And further significant advancements were made on the parameters like control system, autoclave safety and autoclave sterilization cycle. Now we will discuss the important parameters for the operation and maintenance of an autoclave. First one is steam. Quality steam is necessary for the successful sterilization and vapors produced in the autoclave must contain 97% of steam and 3% of moisture. Here one important thing to note that the fraction of steam and moisture must be more than 3% then only it is considered the moist steam or dry saturated steam. But the fraction of steam and moisture less than 3% will be considered as superheated or dry steam that is ineffective for the steam sterilization. Moist heat is an effective means to disinfect glassware, culture media, surgical dressings, etc. Then temperature and pressure are the other two parameters of an autoclave. Generally an autoclave uses dry saturated steam under elevated temperature and pressure to ensure potential microbicidal activity. A gravity displacement autoclave is operated under 15 psi pressure and 121 degree Celsius temperature, whereas pre-vacuum sterilizer is operated under 27 psi pressure and 132 degree Celsius temperature. Here psi is the unit of pressure that is pounds per square inch. Friends, now we have understood that these three are the major parameters for the functioning of an autoclave machine. But now it's time to study that how steam, temperature and pressure help to achieve maximum sterilization. If pressure within the vessel is increased above the atmospheric pressure, it will also increase the boiling temperature of water within the pressure vessel. And this increase in the boiling temperature will convert water into steam. Finally, the steam penetration into the objects that are placed inside the autoclave increases that is necessary to kill microorganisms. Last factor is time. Gravity displacement autoclave takes 30 minutes and pre-vacuum sterilizer takes 4 minutes to destroy microbial cells. Sterilization time may differ depending upon the type and load of contents. Autoclaves are recommended best that use high temperature and short sterilization time. Let us discuss the components of the gravity displacement autoclave and the function of each component. An autoclave lid is provided with the systems like pressure valve that regulates the pressure of the steam jacket and inner chamber. Exhaust valve releases steam. Safety valve protects against damages due to the overpressure. And tightening knobs are used to lock the autoclave or to provide closed system to sterilize the objects. Then a pressure vessel contain an inner chamber and an outer jacket composed of stainless steel. It also comprises a perforated holding tray 
where you can keep the media and glassware in autoclave water is added into the pressure vessel up to the level of tripod stand and a power cable is attached to the heating element that is necessary for the steam production let us discuss the working and stages in the autoclave sterilization cycle the working of an autoclave is very much similar to the ordinary pressure cooker that we use in our daily life to boil or cook the food we can close the lid of an autoclave to form a sealed chamber and under optimum temperature pressure and time the water is converted into steam therefore depending upon the working of an autoclave the sterilization cycle has three consecutive stages first one is the purge phase or conditioning phase that involves displacement of air different autoclaves use pressure pulses steam flushes vacuum pump to displace the air then in the exposure or sterilization phase we need to close the exhaust valve in order to supply continuous steam by switching on the heating element this causes rapid increase in the temperature and pressure after which the items that are placed within the pressure vessel meet the exposure phase exhaust phase is the final phase in which we need to open the exhaust valve to release steam out of the chamber or it is the stage of depressurizing the chamber as the steam completely evaporates the items can be taken out we will end up this video by discussing advantages and some limitations of the autoclave sterilization technique starting with advantages an autoclave is the non toxic method that does not produce toxic fumes or it only uses water and it is also inexpensive method to conduct as its operation and maintenance is quite easy autoclave sterilizer is not only effective in destroying microbial cells but also microbial spores moist heat penetrates fabrics more effectively than the dry heat in chemical industries autoclaves are extensively used in hardening the rubber and also used in hydrothermal method to produce different chemical compounds coming into limitations an autoclave may cause corrosion and combustion of lubricants autoclaving is a time taking process and plastic wear and many chemicals cannot withstand the dry saturated steam so friends this is all for today i hope you find this lesson useful to know this topic more in detail you may visit our official website that is biologyreader.com link is provided in the description box so friends do like comment share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos